I'm Lorna, and today I'm going to read The Pig's Wedding, written and illustrated by Helma Heine. Porker Pig built a Excuse me. Porker Pig built a big fire and made smoke signals that said, tomorrow is Porker's wedding. Tomorrow is Porker's wedding. You are all invited. See all the smoke signals? That's what smoke signals are. It's a way of communicating. Mostly back in the olden day. The pig squealed for joy and came from far and near to see Porker and Curly Tail, his wife, be married. His bride, excuse me. But when they arrived on the wedding day, Curly Tail whispered to Porker, what a lot of guests we have and how nice they are, but they do smell. Porker sniffed too. Curly Tail was right. They did smell. He called to their guests, friends, we're glad you've come, but you have to get cleaned up for the wedding. So come on and let me give you a bath. He picked up a hose and he gave each of them a good shower. They are pigs, you know. And when they were all clean, Curly Tail said, now we have to dress them up. Porker had forgotten all about clothes for the wedding, but he thought quickly and came up with a brilliant idea. Wait a minute, he said, and he ran off to the barn. A moment later, he trotted out with a wheelbarrow full of paint pots. We'll paint on your party clothes, Porker said. Each pig got the clothes that he or she had always wanted. Everything fit perfectly. The preacher's robe was comfortable over his stomach and the bride, bride's gown fit like a glove and Porker gave them wrist watches that didn't need winding and spectacles that didn't have to be cleaned and buttons that didn't pop off and neckties and sashes that stayed tight. He gave himself a cigar and wouldn't go, <clears throat> that wouldn't go out and everyone was happy. Then Curly Tail asked, Porker, where's your top hat? Wait a minute, Porker said, because he had another good idea. He took the empty paint can, painted it black, and put it on. Now, he had a splendid, whoa, <clears throat> a splendid top hat. Next, he picked some flowers, wove them into a bridal wreath, and put it on Curly Tail's head. Oh, now they were ready to have their pictures taken. The wedding party lined up for the photographer who had a real camera and not a painted one and colored film. They're all ready for the big wedding. They're all dressed up. They look so nice. Curly Tail and Porker were married under the huge old oak tree. Their mothers both cried, but the bride and groom were so happy that they forgot about everyone else. The guests sang a song to them. Every piggy, small or big, wants to be a lucky pig. Well, after the wedding ceremony, the pigs ran to the table for the feast. <clears throat> They were hungry and thirsty from all that singing. Some of them ate and drank so much that their painted clothes burst because their stomachs were so full. But who cared about the clothes when the food tasted so good? Delicious. Then the musicians began to play. The newlyweds started the dance. They whirled and hopped across the meadow, lifting each other in the air, humming in time to the music, holding each other tight and wishing the dance would never end. The other pigs joined in and soon they were all dancing across the meadow. Pretty. 
they look very happy. They're newlyweds. They were dancing so hard and having such a good time that they didn't notice the black clouds gathering in the sky. Suddenly, the clouds burst and the wedding party was drenched with rain. They ran for shelter, but the rain was quicker than they were. It washed off all their dresses and suits and their pearl necklaces and their silk ties and their spectacles and their comfortable shoes and their wristwatches and even Porker's fat cigar. Uh-oh. Wait till you see this next picture. They're very drippy. Oh dear. They're all drippy. All the paint's just washing off. When the, when the rain finally stopped, Porker shook off the raindrops and said, Stop crying, everyone. We're wet enough already. Follow me. He had another brilliant idea. Running behind him, one after another, each pig took a flying leap into the mud pond. And each with a great big splat landed right in the delicious oozy black mud. What a wonderful idea it was. That evening, the newlyweds said goodbye to their guests. After all the pigs had left, happy, muddy, and full of good food, Porker picked up Curly Tail in his arms and carried her into the stable. Somewhere he had heard that's what a bridegroom should do. But in the barn, in the barn, he kissed his wife gently. Curly Tail, I have a wonderful idea. Wait a minute. She pushed the straw aside, carefully painted on the barn wall, a beautiful four poster bed, most beautiful bed any pig had ever seen, and cuddled close together and they fell asleep dreaming happy pig dreams. The end of the pig's wedding. Boy, they sure did get wet, didn't they? All that water blew up. Well, this is a song about rain. It goes like this. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Let's do it again. Sing with me this time. You ready? If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Bye.